In this video we're going to uh, go over doing some manual classification in LP360 SUAS. I've already loaded my LAS and raster layers. Um, I've switched to the classification view and I've uh, tinned the, tinned the, uh, the dis for, for the display I'm, I'm using the tin surface. So if you look here on the uh, our LP360 classified toolbar. Uh, we've got a number of paintbrush tools um, and we've got some different options on where we can uh, decide we, how we want to classify um, the data. So um, a lot of times on sites like this uh, we'll have vehicles, uh, we'll have buildings, we'll have vegetation, different things that we want to classify out. And sometimes the quickest way to do this is just to use a paintbrush and manually classify things out. So um, a lot of times I'll cycle in between uh, back and forth with my uh, ortho in my point cloud. And we can clearly see here uh, we've got some buildings that we're going to have to classify out. Uh, if we're wanting to do contours over here or if wanting a bare, bare earth model in this area. So the first thing, uh, a lot of times what I'll do, um, let's click on our live view filter. You can see we have a number of uh, classifications to choose from. However, uh, vehicles, that type of thing, um, it's not going to be on here. So uh, I like creating just a general cleanup class um, when I'm, I'm just doing a quick cleanup of a site. Uh, to, for contours or something like that. Um, that way I don't have to worry about putting something maybe in the wrong classification. It's just not recommended if you're cleaning up vegetation that you put things in wire guard or if you're um, cleaning up vehicles, you know, a lot of times I'll see people clean up vehicles and put in the building class. I mean, yes, you're classifying those into a different class, but it's just not um, an accurate classification so it's just a good idea we've got some other classes we can play with here so that we can go ahead and just uh, um, create a custom class um, pretty easily and, and put those either uh, vehicles or just a cleanup class we can create that without any problems so let's go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, double click on uh, class 23 I'll change the color to um, Let's just make it a, a light green here. We'll change the name to a cleanup class. And that way when we're doing our manual classification, we don't have to worry about um, possibly putting something in the wrong class. We'll go ahead and click OK. All right, so we've got it labeled. We're good to go here. Let's go ahead and save that to our uh, live view filter. That way we've got a permanent uh, on our local machine here, we got a permanent class 23 cleanup class for the all points uh, filter here in the live view filter. We'll go ahead and update that. Click OK. All right, we're good to go now. So as I mentioned, we've got some paintbrush tools uh, here in the um, classify toolbar. Let's wait if, uh, for a second while this closes. All right, so we're going to switch um, our destination class for our classification to a cleanup class. And um, also, in an earlier video, we created a unclassified um, uh, a live view filter, um, a, a previously saved filter. So let's go ahead and choose that. If you hadn't already created that, it's really easy. You'll just click on the live view. Just give this a second. Okay, so <clears throat> um, you can just pretty easily uncheck all your uh, classifications, check your created never classified, and then save this as a new unclassified filter. Okay, so that's how you would do it. Um, I'm not going to save those changes. Just give this a second. So um, in our classified toolbar, uh, we've got um, a large circle paintbrush, just as you would think it would be. 
it's just going to show up as a little circle on the screen. You hold down the uh, left uh, mouse button um, to paint and wherever you've painted uh, it's, it's going to uh, turn the points into a white color. Um, you'll hit spacebar to confirm that classification. Uh, you can just simply hit escape if you don't like what you've done. Um, so you can use that. If you hold down control and press the up or down arrows you can make the paintbrush bigger or smaller. Uh, same way with the square one. Um, so I just chose the square option or rectangular option. So if I hold down control press or up or down on the arrow keys I can increase the size um, vertically. If I do uh, the left or right arrow keys it's going to increase or decrease the size um, horizontally there. So you can see what's going on. So I usually like to use the circle paintbrush. Uh, you can also uh, classify points by polygon, just like we've been doing polygons in other videos. You're going to left click to start drawing the polygon. Just left click a shape. I'm just moving the mouse and left clicking. And then you'll double click to finish this. Well, actually, you don't have to double click on this one. You'll just hit spacebar to confirm when you've made the shape the way you want it to be. So I'm just going to go ahead and just hit escape right here. So we've got a We've got a uh, um, uh, vehicle right here, so I'm just going to left click and hold and classify this vehicle out. Hit spacebar. You can see uh, because I'm viewing this in the unclassified view, um, it just basically shows me taking out the vehicle. If I go back to all points, you can see the classification that was done. So I'm just going to keep it on all points right now so you can just see uh, how the color changes as I um, do my classifications. Alright, so let's just do a quick uh, classifying this building out. So I'm just going to use control up or down arrows to change the circle uh, paintbrush to the size I want. It's just very quick and easy to make those edits. Okay. You can see the changes we've made. I'm just going to switch back to unclassified. You can see how it's changed the point cloud. I'm just going to pull up the 3D view. I like pulling up the 3D view from time to time just to see, you know, what what does this look like? in the 3D view, the changes I've made. You can get a pretty good idea in the map view, but the 3D view just gives you another dimension to look at. In a second here, we're going to go over classifying the profile view and looking at things in the profile view too. Alright, so it's going to pull up on your right side. You can see the voids there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, tend the surface. So that's that's the surface you can look at. So you can see clearly the areas we've missed as far as classification. You can see on this side classification went pretty well okay so um, I could keep playing with this and do some more classification in here uh, let's um, let's do some classification in the profile view here so um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the profile view right here okay left click once left click again and then uh, once I've determined my, I'm moving my mouse to determine my width left click again to finish all right, so you you should see a profile view on the bottom. I'm grabbing the top of it uh, here. You can see I can. There's a little icon for me expanding the window. I'm going to do that. Okay. All right, and um, I'm going to uh, choose the uh, uh, classify above line option. So in the profile view, we have um, the paintbrush tools just like we had up here. Uh, we'll have destination classes just like up here as well. So let's go ahead and choose that cleanup class. You can see it's showing up just fine in our little drop down here. Uh, one other thing I'd like to mention up here <coughs> in the map view as well as the profile view. <coughs> you can um, modify your source selection filter. So essentially you're saying, hey, I don't want 
to when I'm doing my classifications I want to leave these classifications out so let's say I had a bunch of points uh, classified to ground or if I had some low noise points that I classified I don't want to uh, interfere with those so I'm going to uncheck those and click OK so that means that um, if I had some points um, in that area that I was classifying in those classifications it's just going to ignore my classification for those classes and um, leave those points in those classes that I had unchecked. All right, so uh, same way in the profile view, you've got the same um, option. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and, um, you know, like I said, we had the paintbrush tool, just like um, different sizes, and you can hold down the control key and press up or down on the, um, the, uh, arrow keys to change your size just like in the map view so you can see I just classified that we can also do above and below line so I'm gonna go ahead and choose above line and I'm gonna use my scroll wheel to move the profile view you'll see you'll see it move in the map view I'm just gonna zoom out just a touch so there's a zoom function here I'm gonna hold down the left mouse button and uh, move the mouse to zoom in and out you can see I've missed some points as far as classification right there you can see they're kind of dangling in the air there. So I'm going to classify above line. So I'm just left clicking with that crosshair. I'm just going to uh, hit spacebar to confirm, just like I did in the map view when I was classifying, I hit spacebar to confirm that I wanted to classify that. And again, I can use the arrow keys or the scroll wheel, and I'm moving, you can see the profile view moving along. Okay. <coughs> So I can just step through and do all the classification I want to do, essentially. All right, so I think we've stepped through now. And, and you can look at our 3D view. I don't know if you've been paying attention but um, of the 3D view, but as you can see, that's been uh, updated as we've been classifying as well. And um, those areas that we had issues with are um, classified properly now. So you can see uh, how quickly and easily we can do just do a little manual classification uh, to fix those areas. Let's just uh, classify a couple more areas just to demonstrate this a little bit better. We've got, looks like, see and I'll toggle my last data on and off as well. Looks like we've got a um, residual artifacts here with this truck driving through in the point cloud. So we can just really quickly in the map view. Okay, press uh, spacebar and gets rid of it. So uh, one thing I didn't do in the profile view, I'm going to switch to classify view. And uh, we've, um, in the profile view, we've been in the unclassified filter just like in the map view. Let's switch back to all points. See what that looks like. You can see in the profile view. Let me go ahead and change the profile view to this area. Just give me one second while this is loading. All right, so let's just draw the profile view over this. I'm just gonna click on the zoom right here. I'm using the mouse, I'm just holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse forward and backwards to zoom in and out. Right mouse button to pan, okay. As you can see what's been classified, I'll switch back to unclassified. You can see we've taken that vehicle out pretty easily. Uh, so that's pretty much it for the manual classification. Uh, just a kind of a brief introduction there. Uh, one other thing I'd like to mention, any of those, uh, as long as we're not classifying uh, more than our performance options dictate. So let me click on performance options up here. <clears throat> so if we go to our performance options, it's telling me the maximum number of points to retrieve. Um, uh, let's see here. So this is the maximum number of points to allow the edit manager to enable. So if I classify more than 500,000 at a time, I'm going to get an error message saying, hey, we can't revert back. 
uh, once you classify it. I can increase this number and classify. I can increase this number as much as I want. It just could perfect a, uh, affect performance. That's why we have these set to these default values, just so your performance is not affected. Uh, you can raise as much as you want, and you can have uh, more editable points, but it would just maybe take longer for the computer to process that. Um, but essentially, you can see here I have an undo and redo classification buttons. You can see in the profile view that uh, vehicle came right back when I hit undo redo. Same in the profile view. You can undo and redo uh, those classifications. So um, if you made a mistake in your classification and you're below that number of points that's in your performance options, you can undo and redo your classifications as well. So it's just a, a easy way to do uh, some quick classifications uh, with a point cloud.